video, we will show you how to use ODPC connectors in Unico HMI to store data in relational databases. For this reason, we prepared a test setup on a virtual machine. The database instance is SQL Express. Using the Microsoft tool for SQL management, we can create a new database called Unico 7, for instance, in order to store data coming from our project. Now we create a project in Unico HMI. For test purposes, we will use an internal variable to be sampled every second. Go to Data Logger and insert a new one. We keep the properties on the right side. Periodic sampling is set on true. One second is the sampling period. And variables to log. Here we have to add our internal variable. Just drag and drop the variable to the log field. Now we need to specify the store property. This will be our relational database. In data stores, we have to create an ODBC database. On the right side, we have to provide all the required information to connect the database. We have to specify the type of the server, which is an SQL server. And we need to name the connector, which will be used to make an interface to the database. The connector has to be configured in the settings of our PC, in our case, in the Windows settings. Starting from Control Panel, you have to open the administrative tools and click ODBC Data Sources 64 bit. A new Windows pops up, click on System DSN and click Add for adding a new one. Here we have to enter the name of the connector, for instance, Unico connector. Enter the description and the server address. And as said before, the database is running on a virtual machine. And this one is responding to this IP address. Keep the settings in mind and add the information to the pop-up window. Click Next and enter the credentials for your database. In the next step, the default database has to be changed to our database, which is Unico 7. Click Next and we keep all options as default. Click Finish and test the database to be sure everything is working fine. Now go back to Unico HMI and provide the DSN, the name of the connector, which is in our case Unico connector. Enter username and password, which were configured in the database server. The tables will be automatically configured as soon as we say Data Logger 1 will use the ODPC database as store. Now we need some elements in the UI to test the project. We can use a label to show the value of variable 1 and a linear gauge to change the value of variable 1. Now we start the emulator and do some changes to the variable. Now we can check directly in the database what happened. We go to our virtual machine, go to Unico 7, Tables, and see the automatically created new table. Make a right click, select top rows, and you can see the variable with different values. If you like, you can insert now a data grid into our project to show the data as well in our project. Go to Type View, User Interface, 
data controls and drag and drop a data grid into the page. Now just drag and drop the data logger to the grid, which will be automatically configured. Now let's add a button to refresh the table. So drag and drop a button to the page and add a mouse click event. Refresh is a method of data grid. Now run again the emulator. You can see now the old values and you can generate new values. Click on the refresh button and now we can see the values in the data grid. Thanks for watching.